Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Manny B Investing, and in this video, I am going to be talking about Milkomeda EVM compatible sidechain for Cardano and Milky Swap decentralized exchain that is native to the Milkomeda network. It's an EVM compatible decentralized exchange that will allow you to wrap assets, Ethereum based assets, assets and wrap Cardano's native token ADA to be compatible to be traded against wrapped assets. So just a little bit ago, we didn't even know Milkomeda was going to launch. We find out that they're launching on Monday and Milky Swap people uh, in the Discord are going nuts. And it, of course, in this frenzy of excitement, uh, airdrops, uh, things of that nature, there's confusion. How do I, one, learn how to use Milky Swap? How do I get in on the test net and look and play around with it so I can learn how to use it before I start to invest my real money? Super easy. They keep telling you, hey, go to this link, read through it, do the steps, and voila, you're there. Well, does that work for some of us? Yes, it does. Does that, does that work for the for the overwhelming majority of people that are new to this space. No, it won't. It's very scary. Uh, there's a lot of text. There's a lot of pages. It's new stuff you're not familiar with. So I'm going to kind of go over what you need to do, what you need to learn. And if we need to make supplemental videos and things of that nature, um, then we'll do that. If we need to do one-on-ones with you, um, you can always reach out to me and we can, we can set that up and get you taken care of in a secure, uh, safe way. So the number one, number one rule, not your keys, not your crypto. Do not give your keys, your passphrase to anyone. Do not allow anyone to provide you with the wallet in which they also have the keys for. Don't do it. Create your own wallet. Keep those keys safe. Keep those passphrases safe. Don't share it. Number one, don't provide it to anyone. No websites, nothing no one should ever be asking you for that if they are it's probably a scam so milkomeda what we're going to do use milkomeda we're on milkomeda.com click on there it'll take you to their git book what we want is for developers the developers what we want step one configuring flint wallet so the first and overwhelming majority of the questions that i'm seeing in the discord is can i use nami can i use jiro can I use your Rye? The answer is a solid no. No, you can't. And that is not to say that those wallets, your favorite wallets on Cardano, will not eventually someday support Milkomeda. But for now, day one, in the days leading up to day one, you are going to have to use the wallet that Milkomeda uh, is compatible with which is flint wallet dc spark created this wallet for this purpose to be able to use on cardano and also switch and use the evm sidechain so you click that link in that link only it will take you to the chrome store where you can download the flint wallet you will set the flint wallet up this will walk you through the steps in doing that so use that link download it get the extension into your icon so you have the Flint wallet and you can use it. That's what you want. So let's go ahead and see if I can switch on over to whole desktop here. So you should be able to see my whole desktop. I have the Flint wallet. Boom. So you use this. This will tell you to use real ADA on mainnet version of Milkomeda 1, create a mainnet Cardano wallet instead. But we're not going to do that. You, if you don't have a wallet created, you'll do that. But when you get to this part, it'll ask you to pick a network. You're going to pick test net. You're going to go through the steps. You're going to set up your passphrase. You're going to set up your passcode. Write these things down in a physical notebook because you do not want to save that information on a computer because computers can be hacked. You want to write this down, write it down on a sheet of paper, take that sheet of paper and copy it, write it down again, keep a backup and store that in a safe place that only you have access to. 
Don't share it with family and friends. Don't share it with siblings. Don't even share it with your your significant other because they won't understand. They'll leak your password. And once that passphrase is out, your money's gone. Real or fake, it's gone. All right. So we go through, we do that, right? You obtain your test data. This is the fun part. To obtain that test data, you're going to have to go to the Cardano, Testnet, Faucet. Boom. This is the Testnet Faucet. This is where you can get test ADA. So we're using T, T ADA or TATA or test ADA. Your address. You want to take your Flint wallet address. Receive. That's your address. Copy the address. It will say copied. You put that in there. Let's go back. So I have 7,000 test data. You put your address in there. Paste it. You hit, I'm not a robot. And then you request the funds. And if you haven't done it, so I can't request anymore until 428. So if you didn't request any before, it will say you got your funds. It'll send it over, right? So you're good to go there. And then what you do is you go back. It tells you configuring your MetaMask. So to configure your MetaMask, what you'll have to do is you'll have to download MetaMask if you don't have it. Same thing. You get the MetaMask, you set it up, you create, you get your test, your, uh, your passphrase, you write that down on a sheet of paper, you copy it using a sheet of paper. Don't take it to a copier and copy it. You do not want your passphrase passing through any technology. You want to go old world with this stuff. You want to write it with a pencil. And make sure, another thing you want to make sure you don't do, if you're writing it in a notebook, right, and you're writing in your notebook, you want to make sure, let me get a notebook here. I'll show you that you have a notebook. You have it. You don't want to open that notebook up and go like this. You don't want to, you don't want to do this and write. Because when you're writing on that notebook, it'll make an imprint on the next pages. And that way, if somebody gets your notebook or you say, oh, I'm going to tear the page out, that passphrase, those passphrases are indented into the next sheets of paper. And that's how people get their passphrase stolen a lot of times. Like what somebody picks up a notebook and like, what's all these imprints of all this stuff? Well, those are your, your passphrases that imprinted through to other sheets. So you want to make sure you... What you want to do, I'll demo it, is you want to do this. You want to take that sheet, you want to go like this, and you put this on a flat surface and you write it like that. And yes, are you being paranoid? Absolutely, because this is your money we're talking about. These, these tokens are your money. You want to protect them. So you'll do the same thing, but this time we're going to click on where at the top here where it says Ethereum. So this is my ledger connected one. We're going to add a network and it's going to have the same screen that it has on this page. And you're going to copy network name, paste, boom. And you're going to go new RPC URL, copy, paste, chain ID, all that stuff, all these details you want to copy and paste over. Boom. Currency symbol, optional. That's optional, but we'll throw it in there. Why not? Boom. Okay. Block Explorer. Copy. You want to make, you want to put that in there. You want to make it easier for yourself to test this stuff out. And let's see what the directions say. Click save. Boom. So we got milk data, milk, milk data, and we've got our network. So I got Binance, I've got Milkama to test net. I've got, a, I got Ethereum mainnet. So we got Ethereum or Milkometa Cardano Testnet. That's what we're on right now. 
we are live. So close that. Let's hit the actual app itself. So now I can switch. Isn't that cool? But I'm going to go with the ledger one. Connect to ledger, yada, yada, yada. Connect. Connecting. Now I got a ledger connected Milkomata testnet. So now I can receive. So I take my address. Oops. And I copy it. Copy the clipboard. So that's my address. I copied it. Then I can go to my wallet, my, my uh, Flint, where I have those test tokens. And then I can send. You click beta. Milkometa Ethereum address. You paste that in there. You put the amount. Let's do 500. Continue. It takes five minutes. Wrap data will not generate staking rewards until unwrapped. They're just giving you the details. You enter your password. Hit send. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works because there was some issue with it transferring and it was taking like forever to transfer. So we'll give it about five minutes. In the meantime, We'll go to the next step, wrapping assets. So it tells you to use that test, switch over, make sure it says beta. You put in your address, you put in your amount, you hit the confirmation, you put your password in. We did that. Uh, transaction fees. They take the, transva the transaction fees out of your test tokens. Um, so understand that. So what it's doing is those that network is automatically wrapping your assets for you that's the power of what the flint wallet can do it's all built in because there were a lot of people asking hey how do i wrap the assets and send it to uh, milky swap and then when i'm done how do i unwrap it and send it back to this address you don't have to really worry about that it does it for you so let me switch over to chrome Get out of the full screen and then we'll take a look. We'll take a look at um, Discord. Let me get the Discord up, see what questions people were asking. I don't even think I had Discord open. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, we're in. Milkomeda, or not Milkomeda, but Milky Swaps Discord, and they're in there chatting away, and I started noticing a lot of people asking. So yes, whitelist, uh, I do believe. Wait. All right. Um, please, how do I set up a wallet for Milky Swap mainnet, and will Milky be listed in any Cardano dexes? Cardano dexes, uh, Min Swap or Sunday? My response, for Milky to be on Cardano mainnet, they, they will need a CNT because, you know, Sunday Swap, MinSwap in its current versions, its current iterations do not support wrapped assets yet. I'm sure when Milkomet explodes, wrapped assets are going to become a thing, I'm sure. You will need to use the MinSwap bridge, which I don't think exists yet, um, or they'll need to create a CNT version of the Milky token that you can bridge between and they would probably have to create um, a bridge as well. And then I said, I'm going to make a video um, and we're here. This is the video. We're doing it right now. Um, has the protocol been audited yet? Yep. They did too. Uh, when third airdrop, they, they said soon hasn't been announced yet. They're asking a lot of questions that they're, we don't know what the, well, they probably know what the initial, you know, early investor prices and all that, but it doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to buy it at that price. So the market will decide the price. The demand for the token will drive the price either up or down. Typically when I've seen these tokens launch, the price goes up. People are, there's a demand for the token. So people buy it. And because of the demand, 
the price goes upward. Not saying that that is inevitable. Um, I expect it to release at a price. And then I believe the market, the people that are really anticipating this stuff and want to get in early, they're going to drive that price action upward. Um, so if you aren't in the airdrop, when you get your airdrop, you're getting your tokens for free. So you're in a win-win right there. And if, it, and if we've got upward pressure and you get in and you can get your order in and the thing goes to the moon or wherever, you're good because you've got airdrop tokens ready to roll. Um, but personally, yes, I am going to be there. I am going to have my, my uh, stable coin ready to roll. Um, they did release the stable coin uh, or the, the pairs. So we'll take a look at that and give you an idea of what you want to do. Um, with your tokens I'm going to check on our our wallet to see what's going on if anything nope nothing yet let me check the flint okay so the transaction went through uh, four minutes ago hopefully in another minute they arrive at our um, our metamask and if they don't that's cool I can send some that I already have, I've already got some, some uh, wrapped assets already in another wallet. Sorry, I should have thought about that ahead of time, right? I really should have. So I have another MetaMask that I'm using on a completely different computer um, where I have Milky, Milky tokens and I can send those over. Yeah, I got about 500 Milky to just chilling. So I'm going to have to manually, yeah. Allow. Uh, turned off, open preferences. I got to enable the camera on. Give access to the camera. All right, let's try this again. Camera preferences is turned off on the Mac system preferences. Macs are so, they want to be super secure which is a good thing and they don't want you to mess around with the camera i'll just type it in i hate typing in these addresses it sucks but unfortunately oh wait nope they they popped up all right i got the test data we don't need to do any of this at all it's there it took five minutes exactly almost so let's go ahead and switch over now let's do um do full screen i need to add full screen to my stream deck Whole screen. Let's get that out of the way. So now you should see my whole screen. You should be able to see. Bam! I got my five hundred. I sent my five hundred milk data over. I got uh, four ninety nine point nine because of the the fees. So I look at my activity. Uh, nothing there. But I got my tokens. My tokens are there. So now we can play around with Milky Swap. So we go to Milky Swap. We've got our wallet connected. It automatically connected. I've got my 499 tokens. So now we're on testnet. So all you have to do is set your wallet to testnet and the platform knows that you're on testnet. See, you are currently browsing Milky on the Milkama to test network. That's how you confirm. When it goes live on Monday afternoon, then it will say mainnet. It'll say Milkama to mainnet or it might just say mainnet. I'm not sure how it's gonna work yet, but expect that to say mainnet and your wallet has to be set to mainnet so you'll have it we'll have an address for that and i'll show you that in just a moment so what we're going to do is we're going to look we're going to swap so we have our tokens we can swap for whatever whatever we want milky is the token right so we'll do milky so let's do um let's do 10 so it'll give us five 3.5 uh, eight. So let's swap. Here it is. It'll confirm the swap. You're you're swapping ten ADA, milk ADA, for 
3.58419 milky and it gives you the exchange rate it gives you the route it's gonna what it's gonna do is it's going to take your milky your milk ADA it's gonna swap it to USDT then it's gonna swap it to USDC and then it's gonna give you milky and the minimum amount, amount of milky you're gonna receive out of that uh, or, ordeal is 3.5627 Notice it's a little bit less than what they're giving you here because you have to pay to do this trans this route. So if you highlight the route, routing through these tokens results in the best price for your trade. And it's, it gives you the price impact. And then it gives you, there's a liquidity fee that you have to pay to the community. And then there's a slippage tolerance. So you accept. And now you can do the swap. And then it'll have you sign the contract. This is the contract for that deal. Enable Enhanced Gas Fees UI. Prior to clicking, oh, because I have a ledger. So this is the this is the part where people were like asking about. What do you have to do or can you do this if you have a ledger? Well, let's find out together. That question was asked. So I have my hardware wallet in my hand. I'm not going to show you it. It's a ledger. I'm going to power it up. I'm going to enter my passphrase this might be a decently long video but if you want to learn this stuff you're going to watch it you're going to watch it through all right i'm going to connect this bad boy up now boom oh it wants me to re-enter my password it's so secure. All right. And I think I have to go to the Ethereum app. Yep. It tells you to plug it in and hit the Ethereum app. Applications ready. Uh, we've updated the gas estimation on, on, back, back, confirm, review transaction. Accept and send. All right. We did the transaction. And you can view it on the ether scan. But let's. So I've got the 3.79 milky. And it's subtracted from my milk ADA balance. Same thing with my wallet. Let's minimize that. Same thing with my wallet. All right. So now we can. We can do different things. We can swap Milky for whatever other thing you want to do, or you can farm. There's Milky in, UD, in USDC, so you can provide liquidity. So you need USDC. All right, how do you get USDC? Do the same thing. You swap for it. So let's take Milk Ada and do USDC. And let's say, let's do 50 swap same deal confirm accept the transaction if you're using a ledger it's going to ask you to connect it and approve the transaction which i'm going to do if you don't have a ledger then that won't ask you to do that it'll just do the transaction right away but i recommend using a ledger because it's secure you can't approve these transaction unless you physically connect your ledger to the computer you're doing the transaction on it gives you an extra layer of security so now we can farm this was a part of the airdrop 2 challenge was to com was to complete this farm thing so a lot of people did it and they didn't complete the process so i'm going to show you so we're going to max out here it wants a lot of milky tokens that we don't have so we're going to step it back we're going to do one we don't even have enough for one 
So what we should do is we should swap and get some more milk, uh, milky tokens. Let's do that. Let's swap. Let's get some more milky tokens. Let's throw a hundred in there. We'll get 35. Let's see. Let's go a little, let's do 200. Let's do that transaction. Confirm. Confirm. I'm going to confirm it on my ledger. Accept it. And it goes through. Close that. We'll go back to farming. Transactions in there. And we should have it re yep, ready to go. So let's do 17. So we've got enough. Let's, let's approve. Boom. It's got a transaction. We're going to start to provide liquidity. It's going to ask me to review on my ledger. I approve. And then it's going to ask me to approve the USDC. It's two transaction and it's two fees. So that's why this stuff sucked on Ethereum because you literally would pay like $10 per approval. It was ridiculous. I didn't, that's why I never to this point used any Ethereum applications to provide liquidity because it was so expensive. If you wanted to provide any liquidity to any of the Ethereum applications, you were paying like $100 in just fees alone just to do it. So you paid two transactions and then you have to confirm adding liquidity at the end. So you're, it costs you, and it costs you, sometimes it costs you hundreds of dollars to provide liquidity. Sometimes the fees were more than what the transaction, the, the liquidity that you were providing is. But with this being on Milkomina using Cardano, the fees are tiny. Look, it's one, one six, one and a half cents, essentially, depending on the price of ADA, but it's extremely cheap. It's not hundreds of dollars. It's like, it's like 50 cents to do it. So you can, you can take a thousand dollars, provide the liquidity and only pay like 80 cents in fees. I have to prove the transaction on my ledger. And it's in there. We added the liquidity, but we got staking. We got a uh, coin. So what we have to do is we have to stake those, uh, those tokens. So I'm going to take max and we're going to approve. And again, another transaction. So we've had three transactions. Yep. Four. This is the fourth transaction. This is why Ethereum, I don't like it. It takes so much money to do one move. To take your tokens and stake them into a, a, a farm, it could cost you a couple hundred dollars. And on ADA or Cardano, no common side sidechain, it only costs you like a dollar, if that. So we're in there. We're deposited. Confirm deposit. Review transaction. So I'm approving this on the ledger. It's deposited. Boom. So we go out. Go back to farming. And there it is. We're harvesting. We're, we're, we're getting rewards. We're earning rewards with these deposits. That's our liquidity position. So over time, we earn uh, we earn interest or we earn fees. So this is how you make money. But of course you want to do it with larger amounts of money. Um, and you'll earn a lot more rewards. So you'll make it worth your while. So that's how you do, uh, how you create, you know, get your wallets connected, get them connected to testnet. And then now people are asking, well, I've been doing this already. I've been doing this for a couple of weeks now. How in the world am I going to get ready to use mainnet? Okay. Good question. How are we going to do that? MilkySwap.exchange. Get rid of the faucet. Go back to use Milkomita. Now you're going to go configure your Flint wallet. So on your Flint wallet, standard wallet, 
on testnet delegation you can switch whoops hold on you got settings set to testnet server oh. on test on on this it's a little bit different but on this one all you do is you add another network it'll take you there you go to Flint wallet and you pick mainnet oh. metamask there's the address so configure metamask and you do the same thing that we did with the testnet on here and you add the main net and you make sure you name it properly. If you don't name it, you're just going to confuse yourself. So you put Milcomida Cardano C1 paste. You pick, take the main net address paste Whoop. invalid. What's going on? Let's see here. Do we copy too much? Yeah, I must have had a space in there. Good example. Make sure you don't have spaces. Make sure it's exact. Paste. Put that currency symbol in there. It's just going to make your life easier. Optional, put your block explorer in there. Also going to make your life easier. It's optional, but we have the data, so we're going to put it in there. And you save. And you're good to go. And then if you click on your MetaMask, you have your options. You got testnet, clearly labeled testnet, mainnet, Milcomita Cardano C1, clearly labeled. That's live. That's real. Anything you put in there is real money. Now let's take a look at what we do for the Flint wallet. So the Flint wallet, okay, we install it, you click the puzzle piece icon, let's begin, choose it, I agree. When you arrive to the screen below, so we did, we did that wallet, so we might have to create a new wallet. Looks like that might be what we have to do. That's wallet number one. We might have to add a new wallet. Yeah, you, multiple accounts from the same wallet are handled differently across apps. It is your responsibility to track which accounts you use in order to restore them later in the Flint wallet. So I might have to, unless we can flip, somehow flip. What do we got here? NFTs, your transactions, your server, blockchain explorer, servers, wallet, connected apps. Cardano testnet. We want to be able to add. No, we don't want to do that. Those we don't want to mess with that. We might actually have to make a new wallet. That's unfortunate, but that might be the, the only thing that we can do. You have not delegate. This is a delegation. Yeah. It looks like this, that seems silly. They should actually create a way for you to add networks in, uh, in Flint Wallet. That would make things a lot easier. That would make things a heck of a lot easier. So yeah, you would go through this process. You would get, um, I'm not gonna, or maybe I will. Eh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to set up a new wallet live. I might do it in another video, a supplemental video. I'll probably make a supplemental video how to set up, but we kind of already did. Um, you just, when you go to open up this guy, you can click there, add new account, and then it'll take you back through this again. And select within, boom, you pick mainnet instead of testnet because we click testnet. 
Um, and then you confirm and you create your new wallet and you write down your thing and you're on mainnet. They should definitely um, allow you or update it to allow you to switch between testnet. A lot of the other wallets do that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to dig deeper. If there's anything that I discover or find out, I will, uh, I'll let you guys know, but that's how you do it. Like you should be able to just add mainnet, go like Cardano testnet and then Cardano mainnet, but that doesn't look like it's a feature. Again, this is all new. It launches on Monday. It's all new. So I'm going to give them that feedback and say, you should make it a little bit easier for enable, you know, to be able to switch between. So you don't have to create a new wallet address. So I think that's just silly. Um, but I mean, I guess, well, yeah, you're probably, you're going to want to want a mainnet Flint wallet unless you're going to just stay in, uh, Milcomita. But if you want to move stuff back to Cardano, unwrap it, move it back to Cardano, um, then yeah, you're going to want, you're going to want to, uh, have that Flint, that Flint wallet on mainnet. But, uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you. Um, and if it was, I'm sorry, just let me know. We can uh, straighten things out and get you get you figured out and get you back in the game. So that's how you do it. Going from test uh, nothing to test net, playing around on test net, learning how to use it, and then switching and adding that main net address in your MetaMask, and then uh, getting back to Cardano. But I'll probably do another video, go live or something when it launches, and then we'll just, you know, we'll use it together and see what's going on and see how it all works and see how the uh, the airdrop works. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we qualify for it. Um, if not, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I told him to make a court of law so that we can get in there and, and plead our case if we didn't get, we didn't qualify for the airdrop. But like I said... Um, they definitely have a white list ready to go because they they launched it. Um, they're going to have the airdrops, the 1 million tokens uh, ready to go for the people that qualified. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm in that qualification and I get my share in those million tokens. That would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, congratulations to everyone, the project, everybody that qualified for the airdrop. Congratulations to Milky Swap for uh, getting all this built and Hopefully they have a successful launch on Monday. We'll uh, hit that like, hit that share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.